20 Africans who are leaving their mark on history. There are changemakers in every country, race, and generation. These are regular folks defying all obstacles to make history by performing remarkable things. African changemakers are eager to change the narrative. Despite the media's constant focus on Africa's flaws, we are all too aware of how difficult it is to affect any kind of change. Whether one is battling bigotry like Zuleika Patel or climate change like Greta Thunberg. However, not every changemaker has the same difficulties. Some people have faced greater challenges. This is the tale of numerous African activists. African activists are less lauded than their counterparts from other regions of the world. Additionally, these courageous men and women frequently lack the resources necessary to affect the change they desire to see in their nation or the world. In the unlikely event that they ascend to the top of the world, their struggle has just just begun. The low expectations stoked by the erroneous portrayal of the African race in Western media stand directly in front of them like the Great Wall of China. When these tireless men and women endure the storms to etch their names on history's Hall of Fame, their work is made twice as difficult but also twice as charming. Hello viewers, welcome to today's episode on your favorite channel. Here are 20 African trailblazers who have made significant historical achievements in fields ranging from science to humanitarian aid. 20. Serge Iku, Benin. The president of the African Development Bank at the moment is Mr. Serge Iku, a financial expert, BOAD. He assumed the position in 2020, and his term will last for six years. Serge Aku formerly served as Natixis's UK country manager before being named president of BOAD. He also served as the bank's head of global markets for Europe, the Middle East, and Africa while holding this role. He oversaw the global markets for the Asia-Pacific region for six years and served as the director of Natixis departments for Africa and Russia. Serge EQ served as the departing president's special advisor for just three months prior to being chosen to take the helm as president of the African Development Bank. 19. Gregory Roxon Dana. While attending college, Mr. Gregory Roxon studied in political science, but his desire to address the healthcare crisis in Africa dates back a long time. When he was a child, Gregory had thoracic scoliosis and he remembers how challenging it was for his parents to receive the medications he required. Gregory had an idea to increase patients' access to medications a few years later, based on his personal experience. He co-founded Mpharma, a startup, in 2013 while still a university final year student. As a result of this idea, 850 pharmacies and medication stores in six African nations are currently served by Mpharma. Additionally, it collaborates with 155 hospitals to give more than 2 million patients access to inexpensive medicines. 18. Tijane Thiam, Cote d'Ivoire. Tijane Thiam, an Ivorian businessman and entrepreneur, is most known for his position as the CEO of Credit Suisse, a Swiss-based provider of financial services and investments. Prior to his five years in this position, Thiam worked for the British insurance company of Leva. Here, he progressed from being the group strategy and development director to being the company's CEO and executive director. Thiam joined Prudential Plock, a Fortune 500 corporation, after that, and was named the company's CEO three years later. He became the first African CEO of a Fortune 500 business as a result. Thiam received 99.3% of the vote, which resulted in his election to a second term as CEO, despite a failed bid that cost the business a fortune. This demonstrates how much more value he contributed to the business. Following the conclusion of his tenure at Prudential Plot in 2015, Thiam was appointed CEO of Credit Suisse Group AG. He co-founded Freedom Acquisition Corp in 2020, where he currently serves as chairman. 17. Rachel Saband, Malawi. Rachel Saband is undoubtedly on the list of African women who are pushing the boundaries of technology on the continent. In her native Malawi, the young entrepreneur established the first technology and innovation hub known as MHUB. Computer science graduate Rachel recalls fantasizing about teaching French. She had no idea that life had other plans for her, 
When she was chosen in 2010 to take part in President Obama's Young African Leaders Initiative, a chance presented itself. During this internship, Rachel was introduced to a number of ideas, including the technology hub. This is when she decided to carry out a similar project in her native Malawi. Rachel returned home after her internship in the U.S. to continue pursuing her goals. She worked a few volunteer jobs to gain expertise before launching Hub in 2013. At the time, Hub mostly created websites and business systems, but the platform now includes various technological advancements from many sectors. She has won numerous honors, including the Next Einstein Forum Ambassador Title for Malawi and the Forbes Women Africa Gen Y Award. 16. Njabwa Mutambo, Zambia. Mutambo, a different YALI fellow, is a co-founder of Muzanga Logistics. The self-taught entrepreneur's desire of becoming a businessman was fulfilled in 2016 as he achieved his goal. Mutambo wants to revolutionize the way products are transported through his business, while also opening up new opportunities. His business website connects consumers who wish to transport parcels with independent courier services, operating similarly to Uber. Mutambo, unlike many other business owners, is not hesitant to expand his brand into rural areas. The young business person believes there is an opportunity to make small farmers' lives better by connecting them with truckers who can help bring their products to the city at a lower cost. However, his vision is not restricted to just Zambia. In 10 years, Mutambo wants to expand his company to 25 important African cities. 15. Neza Hayat, Morocco. Hayat serves as the capital market authority of Morocco's chairperson and CEO, AMNC. However, Hayat was employed by Societe General Morocco Group before to being named CEO of AMMC. Hayat was the first woman to serve on the bank's management board when she was employed there. She became the first woman to serve on the board of any Moroccan bank as a result of this. Hayat graduated from the Paris-based ESSEC Business School. She began her career in Spain, where she spent roughly eight years working in the financial industry. After being appointed as the deputy director of a Banque Nationale de Paris office in Tangier, Morocco, she later relocated back to Morocco. The Casablanca Stock Exchange, one of Africa's major stock exchanges, is led by Hayat in her capacity as CEO of AMMC. She is also the leader of the International Organization of Securities Commissions, IOSC, Africa, and Middle East Regional Committee, AMERC. In addition to her professional work, Hayat is an activist who promotes women's inclusion on boards of both public and private organizations. She is also the president and one of the founders of the Club des Femmes Administrateurs au Maroc, CFA Maroc. 14. Christelle Quasera, Rwanda. Water Access Rwanda, a project that won the African Entrepreneurship Award, was founded by Christelle Quasera. Christelle, a 28-year-old mechanical engineer and social entrepreneur, founded Water Access Rwanda with the goal of enhancing access to clean water. More than 100 million liters of safe water have been sold under the program, which has so far drilled 151 boreholes. In addition, it oversees the operation of seven farm irrigation systems and 333 safe water points in East Africa. Christelle has received numerous accolades and prizes for her work, including the JACMA Africa Business Heroes Award and the Youth SDG Innovator Award. Due to her active involvement in matters pertaining to youth, leadership, and the environment, she is also a fellow of the MILED and GPP of the Sierra Club. 13. Lupita Nyondo, Kenya. Lupita Nyondo, a Kenyan actress, made history by being the first African woman to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. In 2012, Nyango, whose acting career began with a number of short films, television programs, and stage productions, won her first significant part. Nyango's portrayal as slave in the film, 12 Years a Slave, earned her the Academy Award and nominations for Best Supporting Actress at the Golden Globe, Bay F Day, and Guild Awards. Identified as the glory of Africa, Nyong'o went on to play the part of Nakia, 
a spy for Wakanda, and one of the late Chadwick Boseman's personal bodyguards in the critically acclaimed films Black Panther, Eclipsed, The Jungle Book, and Star Wars as a space pirate. In order to play her part in Black Panther, Nyong'o had to master the languages Shosa and Spanish. 12. Nassef Sawaris, Egypt. The CEO of one of the most adaptable businesses in Africa, Orascom, is an Egyptian businessman named Mr. Nassif Sawaris. After taking over as the company's CEO, Nassif turned the fledgling local business into Egypt's first worldwide enterprise. Orascom has expanded into a number of economic sectors, including production, tourism, and telecommunications. However, construction continues to be the company's main focus and has developed a solid reputation. With operations in over 25 nations, including the US and Europe, Orascom Construction Industry is one of the biggest construction firms in Egypt. Nassif holds stock in numerous businesses, including Madison Square Garden Sports and Lafarge, in addition to operating the largest fertilizer production facilities in the world. Additionally, he serves on the boards of Adidas and Nasdaq Dubai. Nassif Sawiris stands out among African business people who have had a significant impact on their industry and demonstrated that African-based enterprises can compete on a global scale. 11. Lian Omar, Somalia. Congresswoman Lian Omar applied for asylum in the U.S. in 1995 and is now a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. She therefore became Minnesota's first black woman and Somali-American representative. Only two Muslim women, including her, have been elected to the U.S. Congress. At the University of Minnesota, Omar, who double majored in political science and international studies, began her work as a nutrition educator. In 2012 and 2013, she had a brief career in politics, working as a campaign manager and policy advisor. She was elected as the first Somali-American lawmaker in the U.S. in 2017 and wrote 38 laws while serving in office. Omar won yet another election in 2018 to serve as the congressional representative for Minnesota's 5th District. She was re-elected to Congress in 2020 and will remain there until 2023, representing the interests of her constituents. 10. Fetou Bensouda, Gambia. In June 2012, Mrs. Fetou Bensouda, a Gambian attorney, attained the position of Chief Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, ICC. Before then, Fatou held the position of Deputy Prosecutor of the ICC after easily winning the election. She also served as Senior Legal Advisor and Head of the Legal Advisory Unit at the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. In her country Gambia, she also serves as Attorney General and Minister of Justice. The Nigerian Bar Association and the Gambian Bar Association both recognized Mrs. Faitu as a member. She was listed in Time Magazine's 2012 list of the 100 most important people in the world for her work pursuing justice. 9. Mohamed Duji, Tanzania. Mohamed Duji, a Tanzanian businessman, politician, and philanthropist, comes next on our list of African changemakers. He is the chief executive officer of Meteal Group, one of Tanzania's biggest businesses. After taking control, Mr. Duji has led the company to new heights. His aptitude for business is only one aspect of him. He also enjoys giving. The ladle through which he gives back to the community is the Mo Duji Foundation. The wealthy philanthropist has funded the construction of hospitals, schools, and clean water systems through his foundation. In order to better the lives of the people of Singida, he also established the non-profit organization Singida Yitu. Duji is also one of three African billionaires who signed the Giving Pledge, pledging to donate half of their wealth to charity. 8. Mostafa Sisse, Senegal The Google Artificial Intelligence Research Group in Accra, Ghana, is headed by Sisi. While pursuing his undergraduate studies in Senegal, the Senegalese developed an interest in the field of artificial intelligence. Before being hired to work at Facebook Artificial Intelligent Research, Sis continued his machine learning studies. He was subsequently appointed once more to lead Google's first AI lab in Africa. Dr. Sist has an axiological perspective on AI 
and thinks that it can be positively applied to improve society. Additionally, he established the African Masters of Machine Intelligence, a program that seeks to identify and develop young African talent in the area of AI. His conviction that Africa needs more indigenous scholars who will use AI to advance their society is strengthened by this. 7. To Wolf Debermeriam, Ethiopia. Few people are as effective at leadership as the group CEO of Ethiopian Airlines, the biggest airline in Africa. After serving in a number of executive roles with the airline, Tawul Gebermariam was named CEO of Ethiopian Airlines in 2011. Mr. Gebermariam's leadership scoreboard over the past 10 years demonstrates that he is nothing less than an extraordinary leader. His accolades and awards include those for African CEO of the Year, Best African Business Leader, Airline Strategy Award for Regional Leadership, Most Influential People of African Descent, Airline Executive of the Year, Africa's Businessman of the Year, and the Most Gender-Focused CEO Award for his work empowering women. He was also chosen twice as one of the top 100 Africans. 6. Vera Somwe, Cameroon. Songwe is the Executive Secretary of the Economic Commission for Africa and the first female Under Secretary General of the United Nations. She is now the highest ranking UN representative in the area. Ms. Vera has held a variety of managerial and consultative positions with the World Bank. She has received recognition as one of the 100 most influential Africans from both June Afric and the New African Magazine. She was also included in Forbes' list of the 50 most powerful women in Africa. Vera Song also holds the position of Senior Fellow at the Brookings Institution. 5. Strive Masiwa, Zimbabwe. Strive Masiwa, a businessman and philanthropist, is an example of an African changemaker who cares deeply about African youth. The native of Zimbabwe launched Econet Global, one of Africa's original telephone providers. Africa, East Asia, South America, Europe, and Australasia are currently among the regions where the business operates. Since then, Econet has expanded into a parent corporation with numerous subsidiaries. Masiwa is setting the bar high both in business and philanthropy though. The Higher Life Foundation, which helps orphans in Africa, was formed by Mr. Masiwa and his wife. However, he cares about more than just orphans. Young Africans who will one day change the face of business in Africa and beyond are mentored by Makiwa as well. 4. Mo Ibrahim, Sudan. Prior to starting his own business, Seltel, in 1998, Mr. Mo Ibrahim began his career in the telecom industry. Later, in 2010, he sold the business and made a tremendous fortune. Mo Ibrahim, who was named one of the top 100 Black Britons in the UK in 2008, has persisted in advocating for a better Africa through his charity, the Mo Ibrahim Foundation. The foundation identifies two key standards for evaluating African leadership. These are the Ibrahim Prize for Achievement in African Leadership and the Ibrahim Index of African Governance, respectively. Additionally, the organization awards scholarships to African students studying business, governance, and international development. Mo Ibrahim is not just an African changemaker, but he also plays a significant role in influencing how the world views Africa. 3. Elon Musk, South Africa. The engineer and serial entrepreneur with South African roots is well known for his audacious goals and innovative way of thinking. His drive and brilliance have revolutionized the tech sector in many ways. Musk is only beginning to scratch the surface of what is conceivable, from revolutionizing the way we make online payments through PayPal to making the dream of a commercial space trip a reality with SpaceX. Elon Musk's company, Tesla, an electric vehicle manufacturer he created in 2003, is arguably most recognized for it. Musk now resides in the United States, where he keeps reinventing technology one new invention at a time. The African innovator is not lagging behind in his pursuit of technology. His company Starlink is one of those attempting to get more Africans online. Some African nations have already given their consent. 2. Dennis Mukwenge, Democratic Republic of Congo. 
only a few Africans have received the Nobel Prize, including Dr. Mokwenge. He established the Pansy Hospital in Bukavu, DRC, where he provides care for women who have experienced sexual assault. The African changemaker is praised for his efforts to end sexual assault of women, both domestically and abroad. With his position, Dr. Mukwenge raises awareness of sexual violence against women, particularly in war-torn nations like the DRC. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2018. Despite many threats to his life and an attempted assassination, Dr. Mukwenge continues to work in his own country. The film, The Man Who Mends Women, the Wrath of Hippocrates, which was released in April 2015, depicts his lifetime's labor. 1. Gozi Okonjo Iweala, Nigeria. There is no need to introduce the World Trade Organization's Director General. Dr. Okonjo Iweala has unquestionably created history as the first woman and the first black woman to hold the role. The clever economist, among other things, has a history of successes both inside and outside of the government. In her native Nigeria, she twice held the office of finance minister. Okonjo Iweala was able to arrange a $30 billion debt relief deal for Nigeria at this time. She also served as a board member, co-chair, and chair of numerous illustrious institutions, such as Twitter, the Rockefeller Foundation, GAVI, and the International Monetary Fund. She has won numerous honors, including the Forbes African of the Year and Finance Minister of the Year Awards. Dr. Okonjo Iweala is an inspiration to women all over Africa and has emerged as one of the continent's most well-known changemakers. These trailblazers demonstrate that Africans are capable of achieving anything. These historical figures are blazing the trail in a variety of fields, including business, leadership, finance, technology, and social activities. Keep in mind that the list is by no means complete. There are many more Africans than we can mention in one article, but they are all equally important in shaping history. If you are aware of any Africans who are making a difference, please mention them in the comments section below so that we can honor them. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, please do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more information and updates. 